came inside and asked, could we use the restroom? Yeah. She told him, yeah, you could go upstairs. But he didn't go. Okay. He just went on out the door, and now he's kind of hanging out front. All right, I'll ask him to. So just oh, sweetly ask him to just yeah. float along. Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of that for you. <laughs> you can't stand in front of my city hall to my sports on the jet. Like, well, I mean, we can't have that. if it wasn't safe. You can't stand in front of my city hall to my sports on the jet. Like, well, I mean, we can't have that. if it wasn't safe. All right, I'll ask him to. So just sweetly ask him to just. Yeah. Float along? Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of that for you. <laughs> so, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, dude. So, is there a reason why you want to stand here? God put it in my heart to stand right here and spread the message. God bless the homies. But... I'm, all, I'm all for that. I'm all okay. for you recording. I got no issue with that, okay? All right. I got my body cam on. So okay. I don't even know what that's for. Probably so you can get across the intersection. Anyways, so what I did was I called for a patrol unit because I'm actually working for the code enforcement section, okay? I'm still a police officer. This is city property, okay? okay. And you do have the right to spread your message anywhere you want unless it's private property. Okay. Then they have the right to ask you to leave. They can't tell you to tell your sign up or anything like that, right. but that's the whole point of why I was out here talking to you. The ladies didn't feel comfortable with somebody just hanging out in front of city hall. Okay. Um, and being that it's on city property, they have the right to ask you to leave. You can go stand on that mm -hmm. corner. You can go stand anywhere it's not actual city property and do as you wish, brother, and spread the message. So that's that's all I'm saying. Okay. Right. Now, if you refuse to leave, then it would be trespassing, and then you'd be in trouble. So I'm asking you nicely, if just to relocate. That's all I'm asking you to do. Right. You can go spread that message with love any way you want, other than city property right here. Is that, you understand what I'm saying? This is city property. This, this all this is city hall. This is city property. All right. Am I being trespassed? As of now, you are. Give me your ID. Uh, now, I'm now we're now it's an investigation. I'm I want your ID. Leave, no, nope. give me your ID. You're not free to go now. Because now you want to play the game. Well, give me your identification. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. Give me that identification or you're going to jail. Give me my... Give me your identification so I can identify you and I can trespass you. Then you can leave. If, if I'm I, not going to ask I you a third time. If I get arrested, I'll, go to, I'll lose my job. I'm not trying to arrest you. I'm trying to get you to comply with me and you're trying to refuse to do that. So listen to me carefully. I want your identification so I can identify what you and trespass you. What do you expect me of? Sir? What crime do you suspect me of? You're, you're failing to, to follow a lawful order, which is they've asked you to leave city property or asked me to ask you to leave. You're refusing to do so. Now I'm going to trespass you from the property because I asked you three times nicely to can step off somewhere else. Leave, no, now you wanted to refuse, so now I'm going to identify you and I can trespass you. If I don't give you my ID, I'll go to jail. That's exactly correct. You'll cool. be arrested. You'll be fingerprinted and released. So all I want is your identification. No, because you, not because of the sign, but because you failed to comply with my investigation, which was, I asked you to leave nicely initially, you wanted to play the game with me, now I'm playing the game with you. Well, I said Let I me have your, ident stop. Let me really have your identification. I said I would identification. Really I'm not going to say it. Handcuffs. Turn around. I'm engaged in constitutional protection right Turn around. Let me see your sign. You put your phone in your pocket. All you have to do is come give me your ID, bud. Why, what's the harm with that? You, you know the game because you want to say, am I being trespassed? You could have gave me your ID. I would have trespassed you and let you walk off, brother. Yeah, you were, you were telling me to leave. I would rather not leave. No, you're, you're playing the game with me is what you're doing. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. I asked you to leave before that. You wanted to play the game and make me trespass you. Don't play dumb games, man. It's going to get you in trouble. Despite the fact that my arrest was an obvious and egregious violation of my civil rights, the city of Port Wentworth and the state of Georgia pursued criminal prosecution against me for the bogus charge of obstruction. For nearly two years, I was compelled to travel from my hometown of St. Augustine, Florida to Savannah, Georgia multiple times to attend court hearings that resulted in the cancellation of the current court hearing that I just drove hours to attend, only to announce another court hearing that I would have to drive hours to attend at a future date. Finally, on May 25, 2023, after two years of malicious prosecution, the criminal charge of obstruction was finally dropped. Now, in July of 2023, nearly two years to the date of the July 2021 arrest, I have filed a civil rights lawsuit against Robert Heminger in his individual capacity. And by the way, Robert Heminger has been promoted from sergeant to lieutenant since the day he violated my rights. 
I am blessed to be represented by two of the finest civil rights organizations in the world, the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, or FIRE, and the University of Georgia's First Amendment Clinic. Port Wentworth, Georgia, July 17, 2023. Police in Georgia keep failing an easy test. Does the First Amendment protect the right to hold a sign reading God Bless the Homeless Vets in front of City Hall and the right to film police officers in public? Spoiler alert, it sure does. Today, the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression filed a lawsuit on behalf of Gray challenging his arrest by a Port Wentworth police officer. Following lawsuits on behalf of Gray in Alpharetta, Georgia and Blackshear, Georgia, this is Fire's third case related to Peach State Police Officer's constitutional illiteracy, and it's the second brought with the help of the University of Georgia School of Law's First Amendment Clinic. Maybe Big Dummy Heminger should take his own advice about playing dumb games. Rather not leave. No, you're playing the game with me is what you're doing. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. I asked you to leave before that. You wanted to play the game and make me trespass you. Don't play dumb games, man. It's going to get you in trouble. All right.